I think you you must understand in many ways looking on the NATO or looking on all these possible umbrellas. Uh, church must anyway rely only on yourself. <laughs> that that's true. Uh, NATO will <laughs> actually NATO is a very good and necessary organization to guarantee overall uh, security system, but it will not help the countries out, especially when it's uh, between those difficult times and difficult uh, systems and risky and so on, like Georgia. Uh, integration with NATO is very useful, necessary and helpful, but the Georgia must know, and I think this was learned very painfully in August 2008, that only what you can trust is your own weapons and your own people. Without Georgian army, Without George and Army fight, we have not had this meeting here. Probably this has been some beautiful headquarter of the 58th Army. Nobody saved you. You saved your, yourself. I think this is one understanding which I... Uh, I'm not happy that I don't see this so much in Georgia. <laughs> so it's... Uh, it's, it's not very developed. Sometimes the Georgian people themselves are describing how unhappy, how unsuccessful, and how bad they, they were. Yes, I can tell a lot of that uh, about the misplanning, about the maybe some military mistakes, but, but you fought. And you fought enough, well, not let it happen. Because I think everybody of us is sure that the goal of Russia was not the South Ossetia or Abkhazia. And you stopped it. With, with big losses, with big sacrifices. Not only directly in the war, but after the war, because it's no doubt that it hit badly Georgia. Uh, economically and socially and so on, politically. But you did it. Thanks to yourself, you are alive. And that's the same with NATO. So it, it don't, uh, there's no idea to worry too much where the NATO goes and how strong that is. It will be strong enough, actually, to guarantee this what they guarantee. But um, even in our part of the world, the NATO will not, couldn't effectively help the countries who are not ready to defend themselves. That's very clear. And um, in the Europe, of course, it will be, we will see what happens. Uh, I think the Europe is divided very clearly now, and it will be very interesting to see what happens in Europe with these just proposals which were made basically by the Finnish Minister of Finance and Finnish Commissioner of Economy, which are something very new in Europe. And I, I think all Scandinavian and all this part of the, of the Europe will support, I think, quite actively these proposals, but I am not too sure on all member states. Because when in Europe will be launched automatic sanctions on uh, not uh, uh, or breaking the, the rules uh, on the debt and so on, then this will be something out absolutely new. But from my point of view, absolutely necessary. So we will see what this goes. But um, Europe actually is too big to go absolutely down. It somehow always survived all the crisis, and I think this happens in this time also. And your first question was on... Uh, on Putin. Ah, yes. What to do? Ah, I am, I, there I have short answers, so forget him. Really. And I am serious with this. Forget him. Forget Putin. Forget Russia. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, but uh, e even then I say the, the same answer. Forget them. They are not existing. The important is that what you yourself are doing. Even uh, being Militarily so strong that they think twice are they coming again or not. Uh, but in your all other things, even economically, the Russian market is not important to you. The Russian market can only bring the corruption and low quality products to you. And every time when I come into church and wines are getting better and better, send a letter to the Mr. Putin, forget, remember him so much and thank to him for this. Uh, thanks to this, replace this awful low quality wines, the Georgian wines are becoming really better and better. And that's in all areas. You, when they want to talk, uh, you, let's talk. But otherwise, that's 
this politician, this country doesn't exist. And that helps you in all other aspects, I can say. Because, again, being realistic, every time when you go to at least some of the uh, European governments and start to talk on Russia, they become just scared. And then they will don't listen very much what they what to talk on, on, on serious subjects. And that's, uh, they will be just switch them out. That's, again, very practical experience from the Baltic, because in one moment we found that what the Russia wants from us is that we will speak on the Russia in every meeting, that we will speak on the Russian misbehavior in every international meeting, and making everybody nervous. Because uh, the more you will deal exactly with own choice and problems, even knowing how hard that is, it's, it's better. The other thing is talk about uh, replaced persons about the right of refugees to, to return home. This is absolutely understandable. And that's, that's actually a Russian problem, that's a different case. That, because that is a Russian problem. But this is very understood topic everywhere in the world, including the uh, all important European politicians. And this is a serious problem. How you can imagine that there are such a amount of people when you look on the situation, who are just not allowed to go home. This is actually, in the European level, the, the nonsense. Again, maybe in Africa or, or, or somewhere there, but not in Europe. And as we all have told, the Georgia is in Europe. Well, I'm afraid we will have to close the question session because the uh, Prime Minister has another meeting. I would like to thank you on behalf of Europe House and to remind you that we had the pleasure to have a conversation with a person which once uh, it was said to him that it's impossible to walk on water, but he did it. And on his blog today I looked, it says just do it. So I really like uh, his story and I think that we all enjoyed this conversation. It will be a video on the website of Europe House if you want to share it with your friends who could not come today, please do it. And thank you so much again for coming and thank you for coming. Thank you for coming and questions. At all success.